Hey there, my name is Devin Price. I work for a subscription snack box company called Universal Yums. And basically we ship a different subscription box each month with snacks from around the world. So this month we're shipping a Thailand box that has snacks from Thailand. Last month it was UK. And we have quite a big customer base. We've shipped over 5 million boxes. We are purely e-commerce, so we just sell through our, our website here. And we use WordPress and WooCommerce and heavily use the subscriptions, um, WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. And we just recently rebuilt our customer dashboard in React, so it's a headless dashboard. And I've had some questions about that, so I just want to give everyone a demo. We rebuilt it in React for a number of reasons, and I'll get into those in a minute. But one of the main ones is the amount of interaction that happens in the customer dashboard, because the customer can cancel a subscription, they can upgrade, they can change their um, address. There's all these things that happen in the customer dashboard. And we thought having like a very interactive app-like experience made sense for this, this part of our website. So I can give you some examples of this. Like if I want to change my uh, shipping address here, you know, rather than having to do a full new page load or something, I just uh, change it here. Um, yeah, it lets me know about my processing order. Confirm. And that reloads. Yeah, we can change the payment method. And we can upgrade our, our plan. So we have monthly plans, but we also have annual ones. So that's something that a customer could do. Uh, we have different box sizes, so they can change uh, there. And then we have, um, like you can pause your subscription. So we, oh, we ask them if they want to, how long they want to pause it for. Um, and then obviously the cancel, which we're like, hey, we don't want you to cancel. So that's the main subscription admin in here. We show any subscriptions that have ended as well as any that are active. Um, we have the account section. So they can adjust anything related to their account here. This is a staging site, so I have a bunch of <laughs> different cards and whatnot. We load in all the orders here. Again, they can change things about them. We show tracking. We show a lot of custom information in here. And then we also have a referrals page, which is um, this functionality is powered by Automate Woo, but we allow a customer to share with a friend, get $5, and if they had um, referrals and whatnot, it would show here. So to build this, we had to build a lot of custom endpoints. And I should be clear, <laughs> I didn't build any of this. This is my my team that did all this, Jason Weaver, uh, Igor Benek, uh, Matisse, uh, ooh, I can't pronounce his last name, Pogla, um, and um, John Abernathy. So we have a great team here at Universal Yums that built out the majority of this uh, functionality. Um, and they had to build a lot of custom endpoints to do this, like WooCommerce and subscriptions offer, you know, some of the JSON endpoints so you can get orders and you can get subscriptions. But a lot of this stuff that we're doing, like switching plans or um, some of the custom meta that we have to show in here, it, it all requires doing custom endpoints. And so, I guess like in retrospect, like should we have built out our whole dashboard in, in React uh, after going through it? There, there were definitely challenges, especially on, on the account orders page and like trying to add the different payment methods because Braintree didn't allow that. This is actually um, done um, through an iframe where we, we render this page actually. So it's actually a PHP page that's loaded inside of an iframe. So there were, there were definitely some challenges doing <laughs> all this stuff here. Um, I would say if you have a team that enjoys making custom endpoints and enjoys working in React and, and you have the capacity to do that, I, I think the customer dashboard is a good place to do that because it's limited scope you can do everything. It's possible to do everything that you'd want to do, I think, in with the existing WooCommerce functionality.
um, if, if you're willing to write those endpoints. Um, if you don't have a big team and you maybe don't have business reasons to like totally rebuild <laughs> your dashboard, like we, we obviously wanted to update our design too. We wanted to roll out a better user experience. We wanted to attack some of the performance issues. So there were a number of reasons that we wanted to roll out this new dashboard, but um, you may not have all those reasons. And I think you can get statically rendered or like PHP rendered dashboard pages to work perfectly fine. And you could layer in some of that interactivity um, with just like a little JavaScript on, on top of it. Uh, for doing some of those things with, with custom endpoints, if you like, and you don't necessarily need to build your whole backend in, in React. If if you like writing React and, and you want to do it, yeah, it, it's fun and, and go for it. But uh, I, do, I don't know that there's like a huge business case uh, for doing it otherwise. Uh, so hope uh, that little overview has been cool or helpful. And, you know, if you have any questions, uh, let me know.